are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports. Let's talk about the UFC. As you know, on this channel, we like to cover some UFC, particularly when Kobe Covington and Jorge Masvidal are involved. Why is that, you may ask? Because both of these men proudly supported our President Trump, which means they did what we love on this channel. They broke away from the bullshit narrative. You know, the narrative like LeBron James and so many of these woke athletes have decided to follow over the last nine months to a year. And uh, so they stepped out there. They put themselves out there and were unashamed about it. Uh, Jorge actually campaigned. He actually got out there on behalf of Trump. And, of course, Trump Trump has, has uh, been face-to-face -face with both of these dudes, talked to them, had conversations with them. Uh, Trump most notably called Kobe after one of his last fights, congratulated him on a victory. I believe it was over Ty uh, Tyrone Woodley. Now, it seems that these two uh, brothers for America, for law and order, are now about to fight each other or could be about to fight each other. Sorry, guys. It seems LeBron James didn't want to get in the octagon. No surprise. No surprise. But I wanted to cover this because we're going to give the UFC some love. Dana White the other day came out with a scathing video about the media involving the Rona. And uh, look, we loved it. We absolutely loved it. Very quickly, defund the athletes. Shirt 3.0 is available right now in the merch store. All of our merchandise in the merch store. You can get 10% off. Promo code LeBron sucks. LeBron, S U X. LeBron sucks, all one word. We'll get you 10% off. Kobe Covington questions Jorge Masvidal's BMF status amid stalled negotiations. This is from the legendary BJ Penn's website. Kobe Covington is questioning Jorge Masvidal's status as UFC's bad mother effer champion amid the stalled negotiations for their potential matchup. Covington and Masvidal, former friends turned mortal enemies, have been linked to a fight for months. As of yet, however, the matchup has failed to come to pass. The delay, Covington says, is all thanks to Masvidal, which is not what you'd expect from a man deemed bad mother effer. I'm trying, folks. Quote, I hope it's happening. Covington told Chell Sonnen in the latest edition of his podcast, You're Welcome. <laughs> that sounds like Chell Sonnen. Quote, last I heard from Dana and the UFC, they said they were going to make it happen. I've been on it since day one, since I fought Tyron Woodley and ended his career and left him out on a stretcher. I agreed to fight Masvidal in September. Quote, you know, it's clear who wants to fight. It's clear who doesn't want to fight. There's probably a reason he doesn't want to fight me. He's experienced this before. This is the easiest paycheck of my life. This is free money. He's not even as good as Tyron Woodley. Tyron Woodley, Woodley's an actual world champion, not a BMF. If this guy, Street Judas Masvidal, was such a BMF, such a bad mother effer, he wouldn't be running. He wouldn't be dodging fights. So the only reason he is getting held up is because of Street Judas's Masvidal's, and, and that's kind of where he runs off. Uh, so what do you guys think about that? Kobe is, look, Kobe takes no prisoners especially with words he will come straight out he will be like i will whip your ass period we know how he's went after lebron james 
And now he's going after Jorge, okay? Another one of our guys. I am not making a call on this fight. I might make a call right before this fight actually happens. I got got to tell you right now, guys, we know this is sort of part of the game, okay? UFC fighters get wildly, wildly mouthy towards each other because it's part of getting the fires, the 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 flames fanned for the fires of the fight and god i hope this happens i can tell you right now i will grab that pay-per-view that these two fight at if if nothing else just to see these two proud look law and order supporting american patriots get in the octagon and go after each other i want to see this dana dana white make this fight happen Guys, make this fight happen. Jorge, fight this man. Absolutely. Please fight him. We want to see it. The UFC fans want to see this fight. Let's get them together. Let's go. Let's absolutely get them together and let's go. And of course, we monitor anything these two have to say, generally speaking, uh, because they're both entertaining as hell. They're both entertaining as hell. They're both American patriots. And uh, anytime they got something to do with a fight or anytime they seek and destroy woke sports, black and white sports will be there. Peace. I'm out. Tell me who you got in the comments till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.